We need effective support for developing countries, particularly the least developed countries and small island states. Countries and islands and different locations must decide which issues are most important to them so that they can tackle them and find ways to address them. These locations must also allocate their own resources so that they can achieve these goals. And then it also becomes necessary to improve their data and statistics so that they can ensure that they can monitor and evaluate their progress. It is important to become agents for change and to take on roles as active, critical, global and sustainable citizens. In this way, you can help shape policies by promoting global partnerships and sustainable development. So where did this begin? In 2015, world leaders adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development intending to end poverty, to tackle inequality and to combat climate change. Development as a field of study emerged large, largely out of concern for the economic prospects of the global south after decolonization and the post-war period. During the 1950s and 1960s, modernization in line with Western countries was ide idealized as a goal for development. Official development assistance is the term used to measure aid and represents as an indicator of the international flow. O official development assistance can be measured either in a dollar amount or by a percentage of gross national income. So why does this issue matter? Access to the internet and broadband connections remain largely unaffordable and unavailable in developing regions. Highlighting digital divides in, in access to high-speed, high-capacity in, internet services is still a problem. In developed countries, one-third of the population is online, versus one in ten people in the least developed countries. Who and what are affected? Gender equality is essential to achieving all of the sustainable development goals. But women often face barriers to participating in and evaluating programs that benefit women. Only one third of countries had an office for gender statistics between 2012 and 2013, according to UNICEF's 2013 Global Stats Survey. Only 5% of foreign aid funds had gender as a principal objective between 2012 and 2013, according to UNICEF's 2013-2014 Global Goals Report. So what needs to be done? The Global Partnership for Sustainable Development data is working to coordinate a network of governments, non-profit organizations and businesses to collect and share data to improve development efforts. Every country is starting from a different point, but ensuring a national vision and narrative for 2030 is integral to achieving each goal. By not taking action, we'll find that global partnerships which can be created by govern governments, businesses and civil society to improve efficiency and ensure everyone is aware of the priority actions that they can take to address in their areas of responsibility will not happen. Failing to leverage global partnerships will result in wasted money, wasted time and wasted lives, as well as marginalizing policies and attitudes that continue to oppress and facilitate inequalities. So how can you take action? You can join or create a group that seeks to mobilize action on the implementation of sustainable development goals. You can read up on how companies can advance each of the SDGs here. You can register your own actions and initiatives on the Sustainable Development Goals Partnerships platform to inform, educate, network and be inspired. So a good example of this is 
when we had the Global Citizen Festival in 2018, where we as South African citizens were encouraged to take part in the Global Citizen campaign by taking action online. And in that way, we became more informed on the Sustainable Development Goals, as well as contributing to online petitions and surveys and so on. And that is how we enforced our role as active citizens. So the way you as a member of the World Speech Day South Africa United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Book Club could participate if you cannot speak out um, in your own individual voice to be able to make a change for the purpose of the Partnership for Goals, you can engage in online petitions and surveys for causes uh, such as you know, preventing human trafficking, getting uh, governments and uh, world leaders to take action. There are a number of such uh, organizations that perform these functions online and you could find out how you too could be a par part of it. So that would be your way of standing up and speaking out, but you could do so in, in, in an online capacity. What do you do with the problem? This book is written by uh, Kobe Yamada. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with the problem, I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shooed it away. I scolded it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it could just disappear. I tried everything. I could hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but still it found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good at all. I couldn't make it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I wanted to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave and to be something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know they are secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it.